Hey guys, so today we've got another hoodie to check out. Yes, I know, in this channel we check out a lot of hoodies. I know this particular hoodie has been around for a while and I've been getting Instagram DMs from you guys sharing your thoughts about this hoodie and I highly appreciate that. Thanks guys. Before we go on, I do urge you that if you are buying clothing on AliExpress, please ask the seller to send you a photo. Now I'm not talking about like the photo that's already on their uh, link on their page. I'm talking about a photo that's taken on their phone because I've noticed that on the seller's page, the photos there, a lot of other dropshippers use it as well. So it can get really confusing and you kind of don't know what's what and who's selling what because they all use the same photo. So that is why sometimes people receive a product that is slightly off to what's shown on the photo. So please get the seller to take a photo on their phones. And also, I think from time to time, the sellers use different manufacturers and with different manufacturers, the quality control is also different. So please, just make sure, get them to send you a photo. It's better to be safe than sorry. Whenever I buy from AliExpress, that's exactly what I do. And sometimes, by the time when you watch this video, there could be already a version two, version three of the product out. So just remember, please ask the seller to take a photo. That's my experience of purchasing on AliExpress. Today we have a hoodie that's been out for a while now, but it's only recently that I had time to check it out. And upon doing a bit of research, I actually found two other similar hoodies. So I went ahead and bought all three. If you were following my Instagram, you probably already saw the other two hoodies on my story. So following this video, there will be two other hoodie reviews. And finally, a combined review of all three hoodies. So I really hope that this does help someone who's watching. And if it does, please consider subscribing. Hey man. Yo guys, it's so, Nathan here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does that hoodie feel? Uh, first impressions are like, like before I even put it on, right? Look at it, like, it gives you, gives you that whoa feeling. And it looks like, actually what? it looks really- gives you, What is the whoa feeling? <laughs> I don't know, it's just not something you would often find in like, in just off the streets, right? Yeah, that's like, true, yeah. If someone wears it, like, like look at the amount of pockets in this. Like, I was like, oh, that's a lot of pockets. You know, trying on this hoodie for the first time, it's definitely a light hoodie. The material itself is quite thin, it's not this thick type of material. It's a thin material, thin plasticky type of material. Can you hear that plasticky sound? But don't get me wrong, it's not uncomfortable. One of you guys asked me to mention about the thickness or the thinness of the clothes, and thanks for telling me that, so I'll make that consistent in my future videos. We have ice piercing wind here in New Zealand, and just walking around in this hoodie, I can definitely feel like it's slowly heating up inside. Tina. Hello. So, how does it feel wearing another hoodie? Um, this hoodie is really windproof and I think it's actually, it looks really cool. I, I think I like this one better than the other one. Yeah. So this one, because you've worn quite a few uh, outfits today, so yeah. this actually does have windproofing. Yeah, it keeps me really warm inside here, like I don't feel the wind coming in or anything. Yeah, it's, re it's really like windproof. This hoodie is made from thin material fabrics, but thin material doesn't necessarily mean it won't keep you warm. The reason why it can keep you warm is because it's waterproof. But here's the catch. When you talk about waterproof material, you have to also take into consideration about the breathability of the material. Imagine if you had to wear one of those big thick yellow raincoats. It does its job, it keeps you dry, but you feel really stuffy and sweaty inside. It's just uncomfortable because there's no airflow happening. With this hoodie, it's a similar concept. It's not as severe as the big yellow raincoats. There's definitely more airflow, more breathability. But the reason I want to point out is that even though it's a thin fabric material, it will still keep you warm because of the raincoat concept. This is another one of those hoodies where multiple sellers are using the same photo and it looks like they're selling the same hoodie, but just at different prices. I bought my one on Taobao, but I also found a trusted AliExpress seller and I've added the link in the description below. And now let's do the waterproof challenge. So you guys, back at it with the same bottle from last time. If you haven't seen it already, check out the last video. Oh, my shoe. 
So, uh, it's not waterproof. <laughs> it's not waterproof. <laughs> it's not waterproof. <laughs> it's not waterproof. <laughs> it's, look, it's actually sinking in. It looks like it's waterproof and it feels like it's waterproof, but actually, uh, you can start to see it sinking into the shirt. I mean, it did block out some water, but then I feel like most of it, it absorbed most of it. But then you can't really feel it from the inside. Flip it, flip it inside out. Okay, okay. So it's sinking in. Oh, uh, yeah, so oh, you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, see you it. Yeah, you can start to see yeah. it, yeah. But then... Oh, hold up, flip it more so yeah. people can see. It has to be in there. It's over here. Hold on, can yeah. you? I'm not sure if people can see that, but hopefully they can see a bit. You can see that this bit's darker and then yeah. this bit's like not as dark. Is it leaking? Whoa. Can you feel it? No, no, it's absorbing it, but... It's absorbing the water. Yeah, it's make yeah. But then... Is it leaking through? It's not even leaking. Yeah. I, mean, I he, think you can feel the coldness, eh? Yeah. But, but it's not... Oh. It's not leaking I think, through. Yeah. So it is waterproof. Yeah, it is. So, but then, what was that reaction before? Was oh, it well, cold? No, no. It, I mean, it left a mark, so I thought yeah. it wasn't. Oh, and then, but then okay. you can't really feel it from the inside, though. Yeah. So, I think it does that with every rain, rain or whatever. But yeah, it's just for this one. It's it is waterproof. I it lied. Waterproof. Sorry, it guys. I lied. My bad. Um, yeah, it is waterproof. After doing a bit more inspection, what we noticed was that the reason why in the beginning Nathan said it wasn't waterproof, and then eventually it was waterproof, and that is because the outer layer and the inner layer. Now on the outer layer, the black colored layer, the water will sit there and gradually seep in as you see in the video. And once it's in, it hits that inner layer. And that inner layer, that plasticky fabric, that's a waterproof layer. Which is why when me and Nathan touched the inner layer, we felt a bit of coldness. That's basically the water touching the inner layer. So what happens is that when there's a huge amount of water sitting in between the inner layer and the outer layer, there's nowhere for the water to go but downward. Hence why along this area, this part of the hoodie, which we didn't show in the video, we found that this part of the hoodie was dripping a lot of water. Six pockets on this hoodie with the addition of adding one more, so that gives you a total of seven pockets. The side pockets can fit my P30 Pro, but I don't feel like it sits there securely. It feels like it's sticking out all the time. Two side pockets, which are the bigger pockets. It can fit my P30 Pro. And a front pocket with some sort of waterproof covering. I say some sort of because water will seep in. And a side pocket. I find the zipper to be weak. So you just want to be a bit careful if you wanted to use this pocket. And this is the side arm where you can attach additional accessories or pockets. It just needs to have a Velcro strap system attached to it. And finally, we have three buttons for you to clip up to keep you warm. Over here, we have these statement type of messages, but I don't even know what they actually mean. Lock, combat, growl. What does that actually mean? You have coordinates here, which interestingly enough, when I Googled it, it takes you to a place in China called the Tanzo Waterway. And finally, they have their XG XF words in the front and in the back. Now we're going to flip the hoodie inside out and see what's underneath. One thing that does stand out is that this reflective silvery mesh material, which I haven't come across before. This is not a soft fabric-y type of layer, it's more plasticky. The seller's photos show this inner mesh silvery material as a black color one. I'm not sure whether the hoodie I got was an old one or a newer one, but whether it's black or silvery, it doesn't really bother me. If you guys do know what this material is, leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to look into it. I got this hoodie under $40, which is roughly just your average price range for a hoodie. And the reason that I bought it was that I wanted a more lightweight type of hoodie. The previous hoodies that I had bought, it's all pretty heavy and heavy clothing itself is just hard to pack. And when it comes to travel, it takes up space. But with this type of hoodie, it's light and it's thin. It's easy to just fold up. So that's why I went ahead and bought this hoodie. That's it for today, guys. And like how I said in the beginning of the video, I'll be doing another similar hoodie review. That will be coming up soon. So stay tuned. And until then, Day Mixer out.